like a full day of work without really doing any explaining today all we did was furring furring everywhere on the walls and the ceiling just fur freaking everywhere but yeah it took way longer than we expected um, we got like all these horizontal parts we've got the vertical parts so that when like two boards come together they're locked they're not gonna do this number up next what we're gonna do is cut out poly iso which should be pretty easy because we'll just be able to like stick it on between the furring and kind of trace and cut and should be pretty quick and then the harder part is going to be cutting out all of the eighth inch ply for the actual walls all that's left after the walls are on is the bed should be sick i think we've gone through like freaking 10 boxes of screws by now but anyway we'll pick up in the morning with more work and uh dedication today is christmas eve eve so we've got like four days to go kind of close. Alright, so here's the scoop. Uh, today we finished the rest of the furring. I've got all of these polyiso boards cut nice and perfect for the walls. And I wasn't really thinking about doing it, but I think I'm gonna do a second layer of polyiso on the ceiling too, just because it's quick and easy and it'll just be more insulation. Also, I wired up the ceiling vent fan. I'm about to wire up the I guess ghetto rig lights for now. We're just gonna have like a strip of LED lights off the main battery to light up the cargo area. I'm gonna get that wire wiring set in and then um, I think I'm gonna start cutting the panels for the walls and we'll start doing the walls first. But here's the situation. It's Christmas Eve, six o'clock. Jacqueline just left to run home to spend Christmas with her family. I'm gonna try to get the walls done, at least the walls done today. Christmas, I'm probably not gonna work much. And then the day after Christmas is the only other day if we're gonna leave on schedule. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out. We might end up delaying. We might just cram it in and get it looking nice in time, but we'll see. It's always an adventure. All right, status update for the night. It is officially Christmas, early, early, like 1 a.m. and I just stepped on a tape measure. You see this? I am like feeling pretty proud of this work so far. This is like coming along so nice and I'm happy with how this insulation is holding behind everything. But the struggle for tomorrow is uh, 
first off you can see here I got a slight misalignment so I have to correct that by chopping this piece down I suppose and then on the other side over here I got to do the wheel wells still and uh, that should all go on pretty smoothly the rest of that should be smooth and then I'm gonna start on the ceiling and that's probably gonna be a little more challenging and I'm gonna run out of screws on Christmas and uh, Lowe's isn't open so We'll see what progress we get tomorrow. I gotta edit a huge video tomorrow for you guys. Yeah, feeling stoked. It's looking good, but it's a lot of work. Let me tell you what. check out this progress and that dramatic lighting. So we've been working all day and uh, we got all of the freaking walls done. They're donezo, ready to go. The ceiling is two thirds of the way done. We've got one more piece to cut and that guy will be done. We did the whole double layer of poly iso on both the walls and the ceiling you can see maybe up here. There's a second layer. The good news is I've been running this little space heater and it's like freaking 20 degrees outside, but it's actually warm in here. Like it's gotta be, I don't know, 60, 70 degrees with this heater. So the insulation's working, it's doing something, but uh, let me show you guys around a little bit. So freaking walls all done the ceiling is all done you know it's not perfect like from afar it looks perfect but when you get up close and look like there's tiny little gaps or whatever but it doesn't really matter that's like the whole mantra of this project it's a 2006 sprinter van all the cuts don't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be like excellent craftsmanship on everything i'm just happy that it's coming along and i'm proud of what we're doing so if you can't tell, I woke up a little sick this morning and it's been kind of killing me all day. Um, I'm going to sign off for now and tomorrow we will start a new day of work. Yeah. Alright, progress is strong today. We're about to run out and grab a mattress, memory foam mattress from the department store, and uh, we'll be installing that momentarily. She is just about done as far as construction goes. We still have to pack stuff. I'm gonna do a montage of like everything once the bed is made, but look at this. I got the LED lights up, which is on a little secret switch over here. Pretty sick, I know. Um, the fan is up, you can't really see it, but it looks real good. Freaking Sealy memory foam mattress here. Right now the floor is just bare. Eventually we'll put something else. But we're gonna take her for a quick test drive 
and I'm curious to see how everything's gonna sound, if it's squeaky, if it sounds like it's gonna rattle apart. So yeah, I'm freaking stoked, dude. We're hoping to leave tomorrow. We're probably gonna leave like midday. That'll give us time to pack, so that's the whole plan. Let's go for a test drive and see how she handles. What? She is rolling. I haven't driven this thing in like two weeks. The best part is, the last time I drove it, it was all apart and there was just like insulation stuck on the walls. And it was really loud and like things were bouncing around and it wasn't pleasant. Now it's like locked in and smooth. Everything sounds solid. Jacqueline, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> I was rubbing my nose. Like the bed, look at all that storage room. Yeah, we could put another freaking bed underneath. We could yeah. have bunk beds. Well, we're going to get celebratory Chili's dinner, I think. Then it's just on to packing for tomorrow. I promised a montage at the end, so I still have to film that tonight once everything is good to go. Yeah. 